This is the Word Life Show on Ujima Radio. Get loose. Come on, get down, get loose. Yeah. Get like loose. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Man. <laughs> Mine got real loose right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was loose in that. Right, okay, uh, this is the part of the show we've been looking for too. This is the interview with CMHD. Come on. Um, thank you for having me on. Bruv, absolute pleasure. Um, look, you put in so much work in the city. Uh, it's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> every, every track I, I played, not every track, more or less though. Every like third song, he's like, I made a video for this. <laughs> I made a video for this. My germs, I did it. No. Bro! <laughs> Amazing. Now, honestly, uh, now, if I'm completely honest and real, I wanted to have you on on the show, so yeah, let me just twist this up. This is hot in there, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, and my ears yeah, are sweating. Yeah, coat as well. Yeah, well, you've got to look pretty out here. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, um, I might take that off for, for the performance part. Um, but now, on the real, um, bro, I wanted to get you on based on the fact that you've been doing visuals for so many artists, yeah? And then you hit me up, and I was like, yeah, I was going to say, should I put you on the show? Because sometimes when we got just an interview, we put um, somebody who's going to be interviewed with a rapper on as well. Mm. You're like, no, nah, i got music for them as well. Yeah, yeah. man. I got I got beats, and, uh, bro, I was getting loose. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So that one there, that's your latest uh, video that's out. That's yeah, yeah. you and LG from Canon. Mm-hmm. Is it Canon Records, Canon Music? Canon right? Music, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the hot is screwed up. Yeah, that's that. where he recorded it as well. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, their producer, um, Jordan Newman, uh, we used to do events like back in the day. So I knew them a lot, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. good, good peoples, man. Uh, yeah, real good people. But um, I see them popping away in the video as well. you got uh, the dance video as well. Who was it doing the breakdancing on that? Oh, that's my mate, David. He's um, He was like one of the... Uh, what was it? I started filming with him back in 2019. Okay. But yeah, he's 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 my guy. Like, yeah. So you didn't fancy doing the break dancing yourself? No? I can dance. I can actually dance. You like some break dance moves. Yeah. I can try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to watch that video. Can I? Right. Okay. So um, look, you were born. You're here now. I want to know what's happening in between. You know what I mean? We're we're gonna do a bit of a rundown. So um, I found out what C M H D means earlier. <laughs> yeah. And I love it. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. Um. Do you want to tell our viewers what it stands for? Yeah, might as well. So basically, um, it all started back in 2014. You know, when you're 14, I feel like that's when you find out a lot about yourself. A lot, you like, you know, you try out new things, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Completely innocent, what he said. But you know what you said. That's what I'm talking about. All creative <laughs> things is what I'm on about. Oh, um, right, that, yeah, yeah, fair. Um, and like. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's how old I was when I first started music and also my first YouTube channel. Yes. And I didn't know what to name myself, so I was in tutor time in school. Must have been like year eleven, year ten, something like that. And my mate Will, he um yeah, he was I was like, Well, what should I call myself? And he was like, Well, you know, your last name's Murray and you like curry, don't you? So I was like, Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So, so basically, long story short, CMHD is uh, Curry Murray HD. <laughs> it's amazing. And like, yeah, like when when I started doing more music and videos, I was like, well, I can't really call myself Curry Murray HD Visuals. Like, that's that's a bit long. So, just, they should. It's the initials. They should, they should take the, the extra time out of their day <laughs> to say Curry Murray HD Visual. And, and no, Curry Murray High Definition. We need yeah, the full thing. So, I love it. I would never have guessed that in a million years. And this is why we need these interviews, yeah? Yeah. Because they need to know the person behind it, you know what I mean? Yeah, because um, like, you just see the initials in it. it could, well, you were saying it could be Chris Martin or, yeah, or something, something like that. that you know like, I mean? uh, obviously, I know you're not Chris, but yeah, yeah so yeah. I was a bit like, it doesn't make sense. But look, mm. Curry Murray. So, uh, I love that. You're Curry yeah. Murray to me from now on, bro. You're a legend, wicked video guy. Um, but basically, you started off as a YouTuber with Will up here. Um, yeah, my mate Will, he's in the background there. The he's back. doing the behind the scenes video. Come on. And uh, basically, you started off doing like funny YouTube videos, challenges, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Things to annoy your parents. Yeah, and stuff like that. yeah, yeah, literally, yeah. Yeah, what was it? The salt and ice thing? Salt and ice yeah. challenge. Yeah, my dad wasn't happy with Kids, that. Don't try that. <laughs> Don't try. Yeah, you know. But no, I'm not trying to encourage it. But yeah, let's see how, let's see how it works. Uh, no. Right. So um, then you done your first song. Yeah. So uh, I was because that was like before you started doing other people's videos, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I, this was when I was in year eleven and it was an ICT lesson, and the guy literally said, "Well, you finished your work, so you can work on whatever you want." And the, it was the World Cup at the time. 2014 World Cup so I was like well let's let's make a World Cup song yeah. and yeah we literally filmed it on like some little school like the school 
rented camera, which was like it filmed in like that square format. Yeah, I never knew about and it. Like, That's bad. Yeah, yeah like, it's still on my channel. Um, yeah. Okay, I'd love to go to it that. It was on a different channel and then they deleted it and then I re-uploaded it on my channel. Right, you're like, yeah, I'm not letting that one go. <laughs> yeah, literally, it has to be up there. Yeah, nah, but hey, yeah. capture it all. <laughs> Honestly, um, look, we, we've been chatting a lot about building YouTube channels and things like that. Mm. Yeah, I think you're one of the most like talented people in the city Thank for you, your visuals, man. And I think um, people need to get behind what you're doing and so support that, you know what I mean? Um, but... Yeah, I mean, there's you got an EP as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not yeah. just the visuals. You know, there's probably going to be visuals for the EP knowing you and everything. I've got a video for every single track on there. See, I told you so. I know. <laughs> yeah. um, but talk us through the EP a bit. Let's promote that. So basically, the name is a, a sensory experience, and the reason it's called that is because uh, me myself, I've got autism. Okay. And something that happens when you've got autism is you get these things called sensory overloads. Yeah, 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 I've heard of that, yeah. Yeah, so basically a sensory experience is is like based off of that. And originally it was going to be a bit like a bit sad and a bit this and that. And then I've after I had the idea a couple of years ago since that I've kind of switched it around. So it's like the first track kind of starts off a bit like that, but then as it gets through to the other ones it's, it gets happier and things like that and each track is like a different genre almost. Yeah. But they're all I I I took a lot of time to make sure the sounds are all good in that. So like the the track Meteor which you played just then yes. like the end of that is just got a load of crows like that's just the beat like yeah, you know yeah, there's things that, like that on it that just make you think like why is that sound there you know yeah, yeah so that yeah. kind of goes in with the sensory experience right vi- vibe and i get that at yeah. the same time it's also a film yes so basically all the five videos they all link in into, it's into all one, one story okay yeah. okay that's sick i've seen somebody do something like that before years ago but not yeah from the city amazing so um they all what it's like a start uh, end sort of thing so there's a sequence yeah. you're going to drop them all in and stuff like that yeah, yeah literally um, so Get Loose is the middle track um, so ba- like this it, very loosely the story is me waking up going somewhere going on a night out and then coming back but there's there's more details in that but yeah, that's yeah. going to take long the time. journey that comes along the way <laughs> yeah the, the final but that's basically that, the story yeah. of the whole okay so it's tracks. like you and the night out sort of thing and then the experience of where yeah. it takes you and, and then there's other feelings and things in there as well so uh, when you say sensory overload and autism I think that's something to touch on because I found that some of the musicians I work with mm. that have autism are the best musicians we have yeah 100% yeah? now uh, do you think that's why your your videos are so good do you think that's allowed you to focus on your videos yeah and stuff like I, that? to be fair I think that is the main reason like so it's, it's a bit of a struggle communicating uh, but then that kind of I also then exceed in other areas areas as well. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it's interesting you said that about artists because i would say literally 90 percent of the people i film with say end up saying they've got adhd or yeah. something along those lines bro um i don't want to bait people off but cray bristol one of our favorite artists that we've got on red life that we signed um he does some of the best beats his guitar solos and things like that and he does mm. it all on the computer it blows my mind and i think um the people with autism are, as you say communication might not be your, your main go-to but arts and creativity and things that you can focus on mm. and channel your mind into they exceed like what we could even dream of you know what i mean and i think um for creative sector you found a good niche for yourself though man so big up um do you think do you think there's any downsides to autism in being a creative oh. um well some i mean i know a lot like at the start it was quite a big struggle understanding people yeah. and like you know you work with a lot of different people yeah you film like everyone you know what I, mean? I think like doing that has actually helped a lot with the autism yeah it's kind of hard it's hard really because it, it affects everyone differently and you don't always know exactly how it affects you as well right um from but, an outside perspective so, but. yeah but i kind of i don't know like i normally just i, I don't even think about it more, more i time. didn't know you were in the status but now you've said it i just think it's an important thing to focus on bro you know what i mean yeah definitely um i think like um having something like that challenge you but then to overcome it and be as good as you are at something mm. yeah i mean i'm not trying to say oh it's the autism that's done it but it's, it's utilizing that part of your brain i guess you know what i mean and go and tap it into it and go and, yeah i could really 
improve on the creative stuff you know what I mean yeah and damn you've done that you know like you really have so it pops to you bro thank yeah. you man. Corey Murray you're a genius <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that bro. we don't have long left on the um of the interview mm. now one thing I think that fundamentally we want everyone who watches this to do is go and subscribe to the CMHD YouTube channel yeah that's the one of the main things but um was there anything that people should watch for or type in on YouTube is there something that that you got coming up that they want uh, that you want support on or uh basically it's, it's mainly the business so my Instagram CMHD visuals uh that's the main thing that's where you can you know if you're listening in or watching this you can message me if you need a video and yeah, um he's so good like honestly have a look on this page it's amazing you know what I mean yeah thank uh, you man no nah, bro I mean it from my heart of hearts I wanted you on for merit because you're awesome because you're really good at that stuff the, the curry Murray stuff the, the rap stuff is all a bonus <laughs> to me I think it's brilliant you know what I mean um and uh, we've got a live performance part coming up so we're going to go to some commercial breaks and then it's the time we'd be waiting for yeah, right? I wanted to give it a go you know well you're G honestly <laughs> CMHD, aka Curry, Curry Murray. Yeah, <laughs> you've seen it here first. I didn't know that. It's brilliant. Yeah, honestly, if your new video is done, get in touch. He's fantastic. You will be doing yourself a favor. But check out his page and make sure you press that subscribe button. Yeah, but right before we go to the adverts, was there any shout outs, big ups, or anything you want to do? Um, you know what? Mainly shout out Will for being here. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be uh, doing videos. And uh, well, shout out everyone I grew up with, you know. <laughs> Big up. Alright, well, that's us. We're going to go into some commercial breaks now. I'll be back on the other side for the live performance part. Alright? Sick. You're a G. Big up. Alright, let's get into it. Let's go. From a place where it's really a heavy. Real gang bangers, but we don't drive Chevys. Sat in my cell, I heard they shot my duck in Melly. If I was on the roads, I would have more than ready. Real shooter, yeah, my hands them steady. I'm a bear, but nothing soft like a teddy. Disrespect me, you might end up deady. You'll be dead in the morgue, and I'll be sipping on me, baby. You're not G'd up. Now you should have took it steady. I've been G'd up from day off and dot. When I was young, I used to take what they got. No other man could have stunt on my block. They could get it in the face or a straight head pop. Either way, that man there will.